Hello all, welcome to Shan Cuisine. My name is Shan Frizan. I'm the chef. Today I want to share with everybody about the how to cook is a uh, Northern American rice. It's a uh, uh, Jamalaria rice, yeah. Okay, actually it is a very classic dish and very heavy. So I think uh, not many place to to do this rice for now because I think if we go to New York. If we go to Florida, they still have in the restaurant. But I don't think in here even I didn't I didn't see is a place in Dublin they're selling jambalaya rice. Okay? All right, the ingredients so easy. Okay, first thing I have a, I not use a pork. Okay, because I'm I not use a pork, but I use the the chuzu sausage. Okay, this one. This is a shizu sausage. This is a big sausage. This is a beef sausage. Yeah. This is a from Kosovo. There is a, the product is halal. You see that? The halal product. Okay. This is very nice. It's very, very, very strong taste. Okay. It's like this. Okay. I, I, I'm not going to use the chorizo, but I changed to chorizo to shizu sausage. Okay. Alright. Okay. The ingredient. First thing is. Okay. The ingredients I not use the Oreo rice I use a uh, basmati rice okay normally the summer chef they use a uh, long grain but uh, I cannot get a long grain for now so I use a uh, basmati rice also uh, similar okay and here I have uh, some prawn I have some uh, dibon of chicken breast okay. I have a uh, red pepper, it's cut a uh, dice, uh, yellow pepper, and also I have a uh, green pepper. Alright. Okay. I have the uh, sliced onion. I have a uh, chopped garlic, and also I have a uh, one big garlic. This garlic are going to be roast, okay, together on this pan. And of course, I have a cut cube, or sorry, cut slice for the shuzu sausage. It's around uh, three centimeter, something like that. And I have here is a canned plum tomato. Okay, canned plum tomato. Okay. And here, of course, I can have very very good chicken stock for this. Okay. All right, let's start. Okay, the, the pan is hot. We have to put the olive oil. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, thanks for the olive oil. So I have to grill the garlic. Okay, grill some garlic. Also, I have to saute all the vegetables first. Okay. And so I have to put a red pepper in, yellow pepper in, and also the green pepper in. Okay. Okay. Basically, is this dish same like uh, you cook a uh, paella, similar. Okay, but paella is we uh, use saffron, but this one I not use saffron, but I use a tomato. Okay, so we saute them until uh, we get uh, some color. This, all right. And here I have a uh, boiling water for cook uh, rice, maybe for cook a little bit. It's not, it's not too long. Okay. Now saute all the pepper. Again, uh, if you follow my my channel uh, in the last my cooking show, is uh, remember if when you use the olive oil or the saute anything, make sure temperature is not too hot, yeah, around it's not more than sixty, okay, because otherwise it's going oil, oil is going to be burned. So yeah, it's not good. All right, we saute them. This. And uh, you can put, uh, and beside the chicken, also you can use uh, beef, also you can use uh, the, what I call is uh, 
duck, okay? But I have chicken here. Now I the vegetable I have to saute, so I have to take up. Take up food on the plate. I just seal, okay? It's not it's not really it's not really cooked. Just only seal, okay? Just get color like this. Alright. Garlic still there. Okay, now I have to seal the, the chicken. Seal the chicken. Just get the color a bit. Chicken up to you. You can use the chicken now uh, without the skin, okay? Or you can use chicken with the skin. But this one is not skin. Okay. I seal them. I forgot to mention you guys, it's one thing we need a uh, crush, crush, uh, crush a chili, yeah, chili crush, or you can use a uh, cajun pepper if, if you have, okay, see the chicken, just get the color, and up a bit, the chicken, you have to season them, okay? Okay, this is a crushed pepper. I thought it's crushed uh, uh, a fork. Okay, see the garlic? You want brown like this, okay? Don't worry, the chicken is stick on the pan because that is what we're looking for. We're looking for the, the flavor in the pan actually, okay? In this rice, they have to cook a step by step. Okay? Okay, at the same time, now chicken really ready. I have to put the chorizo. Okay, just uh, half, half and half, yeah. It's a very good, very good taste. It's very powerful taste, okay. These are from uh, Kosovo, yeah. Okay, arrange nicely. Chicken is nice color, no? Okay, we put the same plate with the vegetable. Okay, we have the chicken. Okay, we And also, we have to seal the prawn as well. Okay. Everything we have to seal first. Yeah. 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 Okay, I have rice here around is 500 grams. I have to uh, cook, yeah. Reboil. 
it's not overcooked, that's only half. Or quarter of it. Because normally for the this rice, they use a wok or or cast iron pan. Okay, same like you cook pie now. It's similar, okay, but I don't have that, so I use this one. Okay, so the prawn is ready. That's it, okay. Half cook. You can put the same plate with the very, very vegetable, okay. Prawn, you can use prawn or you can use mussel. Also, you can use a uh, lobster if you have. Okay, for this for this this dish. Okay. Now, let's put more on. You have to check the rice, make sure not overcook. And again, when, when you cook this one, make sure your chicken stock is hot, yeah? already hot. Yeah? You know why when you cook something like this, when you put a cold chicken stock, the develop the pot is a take time. So your, your food will be overcooked. You know? Alright. Okay, now, oh, sorry. Our sausage is ready. Try. Okay, so I put more olive oil. Okay, now you have to saute the onion. Slice onion. Some garlic, okay. For this one, you can use some chicken stock. Okay. Okay, now you can see the flavor all the from the meat, okay, in the onion. See that? See? All cup. Take cup now. All. So, more than two hours. You put a pot. Okay? So, we did this. We have create the flavor actually. Okay? Kat sini, kita cipta dia punya flavor dia. Ya? Nampak tak? Ah, see? Okay. Okay. Same time, you have to change your rice. After that, you have to put the tomato, tomato in can, this, okay, then you don't need to chop the tomato, you know, just plump tomato in the can, okay, some chili, some chili crush, yeah, up to you how many level you want for your, your, your food, spicy or not, if you want, you can put more chili, Okay, you, you can use Thai chili, but it's more authentic, yeah. Now uh, we see the rice. chicken and prawn. No vegetable, yeah? Okay. Only vegetable, only the meat, okay? Only the protein. 
this. Here. Okay, so now see all the chicken, all the sausages, they continue cooking now. Okay. Okay, on the same time now, I get to use uh, some, uh, some tomato okay, for garnish. Also, I have some uh, scallion, I think a few bit for garnish, okay? Again, you have to check the rice. Uh, sorry, you have to check uh, the, your, your pot here. See that? This. Chef, I'm Malaysian. I want more spicy, okay? I extra spicy. Oh. You can use this chili if you want, okay? All right? Thai chili. because I use basmati, I not use uh, uh, Mexican rice. Okay. No cut that rice. Okay, like this. Okay, finally, we have to put all the vegetables. All the vegetables on top. Slow the fire, cover. I think they are now four or five minutes. Okay, now. Okay, now I have to chop the some uh, garnish. Okay. Then 
Spanish I have only Scalon and see what I have more in my fridge. Okay, we need lemon as well. Some uh, tomato, okay? Tomato wedges, yes. Okay, rice, I think it's a uh, continue cooking. I think, I think uh, we just uh, take another one more minute, okay? Right? And again, this food actually is uh, simple, but you need a technique to cook, okay? Step by step, okay? And uh, say, similar, same like biryani, but the biryani, they use a lot uh, of the paste, a lot of spice, something like that, but this one is not, okay? This one actually is uh, uh, from uh, tomato sauce, some chili flakes, okay, and also some uh, cho uh, sausage, chorizo, or chorizo sausage, and uh, prawn and chicken, okay. So now we see, it. all right, babu, see that? First, before we stir, we have to check the rice. Is it cooked? Really cooked, yeah. So I have to stir a little bit like this. Not too much, just I turn a little bit, okay? Just like that. See that? See that? If you want to see some more cooking, you can uh, subscribe uh, me in uh, my channel in my my YouTube. Okay, it's a uh, Shan Cuisine. I try to make uh, all variety of food around the world. Okay, I can do Malay, I can do Asian cuisine, I can do uh, Mexican, Arabic, Chinese, Irish. Okay, and woman. I think you want to do the, all the in, um, uh, ingredient is a product from Ireland, okay? This is an Irish product, okay? So, we are support for the country uh, for, for, for now. Because uh, now it's a pandemic, so of course we have to buy local first, okay? Right? Okay, we have to see. ta -da! See that? Sorry, I take out the the rice uh, that is what we are looking for this is a uh, jambalaya rice okay all right okay now the final step i have to put the, the seasoning salt and pepper sorry all right put salt and again 
adjuster like that a little bit okay okay now we have to check this something like that olive oil after serve you have to put olive oil okay okay now i have to put on the plate like this see that Don't forget, the final day, the last one, olive oil. Now our jambalaya rice is ready. Okay, I hope everybody can um, follow my YouTube channel. Okay, it's, uh, it's more recipe, more cooking. I would like to share with everybody. Okay. You can uh, subscribe me in my YouTube channel. Is the uh, Shan Cuisine, okay? DJ Chef, okay? So anything, if you have any confusing, tak paham or something, uh, apa yang whatever I show you today, you can email me or you can comment me in uh, my YouTube channel in there, okay? Selamat so, mencuba. First, I have to try. See how? Of course, I take only prawn. Hmm. Bye. Bye.